The Dodd-Frank Law, enacted now almost three years ago, remains in some respects in limbo. In other areas, there still is much common, where there is much common understanding of need, we've been stuck or even in retreat. Now, how do we explain it? We can point to the old bugaboos of intense lobbying pressures. Those pressures are reinforced these days by the implied financial support for ever more expensive election campaigns. We have extreme ideological positions that make it difficult to reach from common ground and certainly undercut the chances of leadership within the administration and the Congress. What strikes me is a more mundane problem, a problem that's not new, but it's now become obvious. There are simply too many agencies and regulators involved in overlapping responsibilities, differing priorities, different governance, and zealous in maintaining their turf. Take the provision set out in Dodd-Frank with which I am most familiar. Those provisions clearly restricting proprietary trading and sponsorship of hedge and equity funds by commercial banks. The essence of the matter is clear enough. Commercial banking institutions providing essential public services and protected by and benefiting from direct access to Federal Reserve support and FDIC insurance should not at the same time engage in more purely speculative activity. Of course, to achieve that result, the implementing regulation should be uniform for all covered banking institutions. What's so awkward is that the five relevant regulating agencies have overlapping responsibilities, they have idiosyncratic ideas of their own, and prefer differing preferred approaches. So we have a stalemate or retreat to an unsatisfactory least common denominator. The same situation seems to have arisen outside of Dodd-Frank with respect to regulation of money market mutual 